Hello, this is Jim Shewitt, a Sage 100 report writer, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the cost to complete module in the 681 menu. So on the screen here we go to 6, down to number 8, which is cost to complete, and then number 1, which is cost to complete. There's also hours to complete and units to complete. So I'll double click this and it opens a screen which will be where we do the cost to complete entries for the job that we're working on. You can download, you can uh, choose from your list. I'm going to choose 222, job 222, because I know that that has phases and it's not in the system yet. So I'll just click on that and now you see that it's in here and it shows the phases here. Now to get started all you need to do is to with the zero phase and each phase is click options, update, and it's going to remind you that the budget and changes and cost data will be updated. Do you want to continue? You would click yes and then it populates. What it's doing is gathering all the current data in your system on this job and it fills it in. It shows only the cost codes that are being used either by budget or cost. So in this case there's no budget but there is a cost and so it's showing that. Why this is important to use the cost to complete module often is in report writing. It's hard to get all the cost codes to show in a report. If you use the budget report it shows only cost codes that have budgets and so therefore this cost code would not would not appear. If you do a cost report it would show only cost codes that have costs and so those wouldn't appear until costs are used. Anyway going forward so this is now uh, listing the items and the next step would be to calculate and you can get the cost to complete from a percentage which is entered in the actual percentage column that would be an item you would enter. Let's say this is shows that because of the cost and budget ratio it's 12.3 percent complete. But if you know that it's 25 percent complete you can just put in 25. And then you would be using calculate the cost to complete which is in this column from the percentages. If there's no percentage then it will use what information there is there. Or you can create the percentage from the cost to complete which means that it'll take these numbers which show up here and put them in here. I will go ahead and use this version and what it does is it, it adjusts these and shows you the over and under. Once that's done on this phase you would just click save and then go to the next phase. For most purposes, the ease of this is very quick. Just update, yes, and you can also do your percent, your calculation over here. Calculate and save. Go to your next phase, update, yes, calculate, and save and then the final one here, update, calculate, and save. And now all your data is in here. For report writing purposes, the key thing for this module for report writing purposes is to get the cost code list. So if all 
you're using cost to complete for is a report that is being written. All you need to do then is update, yes, calculate, and save on each one of these. And you don't need to fill in anything else. But if you are using this for purposes of you know, looking at your job, let's go back to one of these that has some figures then you can actually use user defined column to enter in any anything you want you can put in notes uh, for each line item uh, and again you can choose the percent that you know it's complete let's say this says 93 percent but you know you're done so you would put in 100 percent and then when you calculate it shows that uh, there's no cost to complete left That really is how to use cost to complete. Um, for more details, you could check uh, the s software's help module. It goes into great detail about this process. Thank you for your time. Again, Jim Shewitt. Uh, my rep my uh, website is sage100reports.com. Phone number 480-277-7550. Or Jim at sage100reports.com. Thank you so much.